What's up, Wildcats? I'm Liesl. And I'm Jaden. And we are your anchors for Wildcat TV this week. Remember, your book pre-orders are $75. Order yours before April 1st. Prom tickets are now $80. Get yours before the price rises again in April to $100. Prom is on May 6th at the Civic Center. FBLA officer applications are available now. See Ms. Taylor in her room for more information. Applications are also due by March 24th. Congratulations to Alicia Go Gonzalez for being featured in this month's FBLA Spotlight. And we've got some awesome shows for you today, including Soda Taste Test, Fezcon 2023 Highlight, Blind Pictionary, Student Spotlight, and Teacher Interview. Now on to Sports with Nathan. I've been up and I've been down and I've seen it all. Was in the gym working my shot, now they pass me the ball. They never answer when I call, now I'm the one they call. I done been up and I've been down and I've seen it all. Uh, crazy when you really gotta get it out the mud. Duck and paparazzi ain't the same as duck and slugs. Keep your circle small cause they be faking with the love. And always have your own back if push come to shove. Welcome back to Wildcat Sports. I'm Nathan and I'll be your host this week. Last Friday, our soccer teams played at home, and our girls picked up a region win against Elbert, winning 4-2. Our boys, unfortunately, lost 4-1. Last Saturday, our baseball team played at Stevens and unfortunately fell. We'd also like to say congratulations to our basketball teams for great seasons. Tennis match men's Tuesday, they won. Also on Tuesday, the baseball team played at Johnson, winning 16-0. Hunter Cuz Giles, Gabe Porter, and Noah English threw a combined no-hitter. Soccer teams had region matchups against Barrow Arts and Science Academy. The girls won two to one. Guys lost five to one. Congratulations to the girls track teams on a successful competition Wednesday. The girls held off Union County to secure the victory on the home track in their first meet of the season. The girls scored 63 points. There was five individual event winners and five setting personal records. The boys track team put on a strong effort in their meet with Union and Stevens County. The boys had some outstanding individual performances to build on. There was four individual event winners and eight others setting personal records. Soccer played at home Thursday night against Hart. That's all for this week. Stay superior, Wildcat Nation. Oh no! You have enrollment papers out due today and I forgot everything about them. Upcoming juniors and seniors, don't be like this idiot. Dual enrollment papers are due March 17th. They give you a college credit and a high school credit, so get to it. If you have any questions, ask Ms. Stockton or Ms. Addington in the guidance office. So here we have five drinks from our school vending machines, and we are gonna do a taste test. First up is Mira. Our options are Coke Zero, Mr. Pib Zero, Cherry Coke Zero, Mellow Yellow, and Sprite Zero. Let's get her first drink. Cherry Coke Zero. Okay. And let's get Mira's second drink. Okay, I don't know what mellow yellow tastes like, but I think that's Sprite Zero. All right, next drink for Mira. Coke Zero. Our next drink. I guess this is like mellow yellow stuff. All right, and the next, the last drink right here. All right, Mira. Okay. Take your blindfold. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Next we have... Oh, Madeline. And Madeline, let's get her first drink. Uh, what do you think? Cherry Coke. All right. Second drink. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that tastes so bad. Pip. Pip. All right. Next. Mel yellow. Mel yellow. All right. Next up. Oh shoot! Maybe that's mellow yellow. Yeah, you can always change your choice. Actually, this one 
is Mellow Yellow, the other sprite. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Ugh. Why do these taste so bad? <laughs> this is Coke. You got zero out of five. I got all of them wrong. <laughs> 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 Mira is our taste test winner. Thanks for joining us. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Liesl, and today I'm going to be showing you videos and photos of the trip to Thezcon from our international thespian troupe. If you could choose one song to go on a 2023 Spotify playlist, what would it be? Um, probably Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. If you could pick one song to go on a 2023 high school playlist, what would it be? Definitely the Gummy Bear song. If you could choose one song to go on a 2023 high school playlist for the whole school, what would it be? You belong with me, Taylor Swift. You're on the phone with your girlfriend, she's upset. She's if you could put one song on a Spotify 2023 playlist for the whole school, what would it be? Change in the House of Flies by Deftones. Can I get one song? The theme song from Dragon Tales. If you could choose one song to go into a 2023 Spotify playlist, what would it be? Arabian Nights by Will Smith. Why? Because it just sounds so good. To another Arabian night. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, bro. <laughs> you just pick one song. That's it. And it's going to go on a 2023 high school playlist for everybody to get on. Congratulations by Mac Miller. Okay, sweet. Remind me of the color blue Girl, I'm so in love with you Yeah Girl, I'm so in love with you Hi, my name is Miss White. I teach 10th grade world history and uh, AP human geography. I'm also Raven County High School's yearbook advisor. Oh, outside of teaching, I love hiking, kayaking, traveling, riding my motorcycle, um, taking pictures. I uh, would like to try to get into some kind of art. I'm not very artistic though, so I think that would be something new for me to try. My favorite part about being a teacher um, is probably when I see the light bulb go off in your heads and you you guys as students make the connections to things you thought you knew or you're like, oh, wait a minute, that's why this happened or that's why these things interact with one another the way they do. So when you guys make the connections and you get it, that's that's when I feel like I've done, I've done my best work. Oh man, if I wasn't teaching social studies, I would totally be a PE teacher because you guys are secretly the geniuses on campus. You get to do fun stuff all day and make the same amount of money that I do. Absolutely, <laughs> it was the moment that I thought I wanted to be a lawyer and I got the LSAT study book and I started looking at it and realized I did not like the application part of law. I liked how laws had changed over time. So the history side of it, 
And so that's when I knew I don't want to move, I don't want to go far away, I want to stay close. Uh, what can I do with my history degree that would allow me to utilize it? So teaching was the next best thing. I love your book. Your book is like a time capsule. I know um, we are fortunate where we live that we're a small school and so it's pretty intimate. Everybody knows everybody and you don't see new people in the hallway every single day like some of the larger schools around us. So um, just you know, putting it on my student staff members to collect artifacts throughout the year so that when the book is printed, we can reflect on and look back and laugh and cry together. Like, that's just the greatest feeling. And you guys do fabulous work, so it's, it's always great. Here you go. It's there, it's there, Steve Vaughn. Hey, man. My name is Haley Hutchison. I started playing piano when I was nine years old. My favorite song to play is probably In the Stars by Vincent Boone. I just, I think it's a really pretty song. My favorite recital memory is probably when I lived in Ohio. I had a piano teacher in our neighborhood and she had all of her students in a recital and we all performed two songs each and it was really cool. The thing about, that inspires me about playing piano is just being able to express myself, playing songs that I enjoy and then singing along with it. It's really just a good way for me to express my emotions. My future plans involving piano would probably just be playing whenever I'd like to um, in college or whenever I get the chance, just whenever I feel like I need to take a breather and just start playing and singing. Um, the hardest song I've ever played on piano was one that I learned last year in when I had a piano class. It was, it's like a circus song. I can play it now because I've memorized it, but I really don't like reading sheet music, so learning to play that was really long and kind of difficult, so. My piano teacher that I loved most dearly was probably the one I, my first one that I had in Ohio. She was the sweetest thing ever. She was so understanding and always willing to help my sister and I when we had her. The piano course at RCHS has helped me in my piano skills by really helping me be more comfortable reading sheet music even though I still don't really enjoy it. But um, learning to play a lot of chords that I still play now that I enjoy, that I know how to play for certain songs that I like to play. And it's just really helped me be more comfortable in playing and made me want to play more often. Yes, I would definitely recommend that people take that class, especially if you have Miss Taylor. I don't know about Miss Backer, but Miss Taylor, she's an amazing teacher and she'll help you with whatever instrument you're playing. <laughs> Y'all want to know the words I say every single day, over and over and over again? What is that? Get signed in. What's up, Logan? I have. I forgot my watch. Seven minutes to get to school. Oh no, it's actually five because my car clock is wrong. We're not gonna make it in five minutes. The work will be done anyway. I mean, of course, I am on time. I am a very present, punctual person. <laughs> These are punks. They come in every morning and every afternoon. This is my home away from home, room 272. We open up with some labs with this fabulous oh. anteater, and we have some inspirational pictures with a handy Denny little skeleton. What's your favorite thing from this class? Uh, Ms. Vandenberg. What's your favorite thing about science? Andres Villagomez. That's me. Okay, so it is like 10 hours since I started working. Just kidding, it's just fifth period, my planning period. And I just have enough time, go to the bathroom, eat something for lunch, set up for a lab on Monday. And the worst thing about it is I left my phone at home, so it's probably gonna be a very productive Friday. Look at y'all, great employees. Look at her. Did you sleep there all day? Or this whole time? Okay, I need to clean out the, the back deck area and also set up a bird feeder for Inga to enjoy. Oh my God. I've worked so hard for this. Look at her. <laughs> the audacity, Inga. Inga, go take a nap. Choo -choo. Choo -choo -choo. 
Uh, ma'am, get up, please. Thank you. Thank you. I did. Yeah, Ray gave it to me. Appreciate it. It's Sunday night. I don't know what I'm doing with myself. That's for sure. That's for sure. I can't. I'm sorry. This doesn't work. That's all we have for you this week, Wildcats. Stay superior, Wildcat Nation.